People normally judge you before they even see you work. You know, I'm not very tall, I'm, I, I, I'm quite petite. Like, even they think, oh, because you're a woman, you can't be in it, like, you can't take the heat. Like, these are the kind of comments that I always get, but you know what, to me, the best I can do is toughing it out. To show you know, that it's not, it's not difficult, yeah. It can be fun. Hi, hello. So I'm Amrit. I'm the senior sous chef at uh, Revolver. Hi, I'm Ashley. So I'm the sous chef of Gemma. Hi, I'm uh, Nadine Te. I'm the chef at Habibi San. What I do, I'm basically in charge of the wood fire. So I do, uh, I cook a variety of dishes. I do almost everything. Grill is one of my specialties. I enjoy the most is the heat and also the adrenaline rush. I think I feel numb. Like. <laughs> Mostly I feel numb, like after that, the sweat comes in and then the heat comes in, that's where you start to feel. Working in front of the wood fire is an open grill, so this is basically a plank with fire. It is quite wild and it's untamed. But standing in front of the fire is it's just something very primordial inside of you that just wants to come out. I don't know, I feel very comfortable. I like the idea of playing with fire. When you start the fire, there's different sections where you make the fire at ember and how at another side you make it, you make the fire bigger. So, like amongst all the other stations, I found it more challenging. So the challenges were well, first and foremost is hot as hell. It goes up to about 450 degrees Celsius. The moment you touch any part of the grill, let's say yeah, there's a scar for life over there, it's probably a third degree burn. I think like the heat really takes out a lot of our energy. So at the end of the day, we become like even more tired. Oh, we can get really hot. That's why I need to always wear my bandana. If not, I'll be perspiring like crazy. That's why I always have like a very cold bottle of water in the fridge. I'll keep washing my face. Yeah, my hair too. Like it smells like grease of smoke, oil, beef, everything. I just smell like beef <laughs> when I go home. Like <laughs> we use a very nice wood from Australia called Iron Bark. So it's very sweet smelling. So I always smell nice. Uh, thank God for that. It doesn't help that I'm so short. So my face is right. Right at the grill, so when, I, when I'm when i breathing in, right, it's just right in front of me. For male chefs, I think they have it a bit easier. Us females, like, we might be small, and also we have we go through a different kind of hormonal system. In our industry, is, uh, majority is you know, male-dominated. So for women, we have to work doubly hard just you know, to be respected. The same kind of respect as men get. The majority of the people we work with in the kitchen is going to be male. I've been undermined many times before, I can be asked, are you uh, here to do the pastry job? So you're not like taken seriously as somebody who works the hot side of the kitchen. You really have to go that extra mile to prove yourself. Like, there was an instance at this place, they didn't want to give me like the normal part-time pay because they say from the looks of it, I look like I can't even like portion out a steak. How they true, right? They say, oh, we are surprised that you can actually work in the kitchen. I like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I have been in the kitchen for a few years. So yeah, I get this kind of comments quite often actually. Throughout my career, I've been looked down upon by a lot of male chefs who tell me you shouldn't be a head chef. It's better if you just chose an easier job with a pretty face like that. Yeah, that has happened a lot. On the bright side, I still have like a few great mentors who actually push me in the right way. So they actually promote like female chefs in the kitchen. I'm running a team of Five, and one of them is only a male, the rest is all female. We've got a nice mix of female staff here in the kitchen. So that's quite nice to see uh, female chefs being in this position and being empowered. I want to be one of those that is still on the grill, you know, like puffing it out. To show you know, that it's not, it's not difficult, yeah. It's actually, it can be fun. I, I enjoy the hard work. My goal is to hopefully open a grill restaurant one day. It's very hard for people who don't love what they do to be inside the kitchen. It's that there's no point really, it's very hard. <laughs>